was a wet and rainy forecast for a weekend in late April here in Nova Scotia. Being just above freezing, six of us decided we would fight the elements and head out on a canoe trip to the Ship Harbour Wilderness area. When camping in the shoulder season, you should be prepared for the potential of high winds, lots of rain and cold nights. These conditions are usually enough to deter most people from getting out, but this is one of my most favourite times to camp because it represents the start of a new season brought on by the sounds of spring peepers, new growth and the infamous wild brook trout. The brook trout would be one of the goals for this trip. After a long winter, we were all itching to get out for a proper weekend of trout fishing in the seldom reached areas of the eastern shore. The route would be a two-day trip that would require us to travel roughly 25 kilometers and portage over nine times through marshy and rocky terrain. This would definitely be a trip that would require waterproof boots and good attitudes. For the night, our plan was to make it halfway and camp somewhere flat. As campsites are few and far between these areas, we were hoping we would find something substantial for six people. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. You were you were just about there when you lost the boot again. Fucking boots. <laughs> lost the boot again. What happened here? Oh, uh, what did you do? A uh, little bit of swamping of the uh, of the boot and uh, a little bit of wet foot, but we're all right. All right. Seriously, Oh, Rocky Lake. Yeah. And another really short one to either East Lake or Rocky Lake. Here. Yeah, I've heard you can paddle most of the still water to the pond. Yeah. The pond, is that right? I think we touched Rocky Lake before coming in the east, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, let me go up here. Yeah, really hoping the fishing's good in this in this hole here. All right, to update you guys, we did more than half the loop today, and we had to we turned around and started going back south. So we had an insane headwind. We got to the end of the lake, going up this river, looking for a campsite. You, you can hear that wind right now. Hey, what do you think of that wind coming through? It's lovely. It's it was. Brisk little paddle. Oh yeah. So we're coming through, looking for a campsite. We pull up at this portage and find this. Pretty much as good as it gets here. Look at this. This? A little feast for tonight. It's been raining pretty consistent for the last couple hours. Because we're not going out with news anymore, I'd rather take my leg track off. You've been using that as your like front pack though, you have everything in there. True, you're right. Yeah. Everything is in there. So today is a lot different than yesterday. 
Yesterday, as you saw, tons of rain, tons of wind, but overall it was a great day. And today it's gonna to be even better because the sun's already out, there's no rain forecasted, and we have maybe another 10 kilometers of wilderness to explore. The boys had all their spinning gear out yesterday, but because of how windy it was and how rainy it was, I decided to keep the fly rod all wrapped up. But today I spent about an hour and a half to two hours this morning trying to figure out how to catch these fish with the fly rod, but nothing so far. I'm gonna keep trying to bounce through different types of flies and try to figure out a pattern that matches what they're eating right now. I just got into fly fishing about last year, mid-April, and this year I started tying my own flies, and it's become a very obsessive hobby. It's like arts and crafts, but you're using your artwork to try to catch a fish. I started doing it to try to save money, but I think any fly tire can attest to that not really being the case. fish just rose out there. Oh, here it is. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, today we are just on the east side of East Lake and we are portaging into this little pond here before heading up to Skull Lake Pond and then into Skull Lake and then we're going to loop back into Moose Cove and head home. 